But for the Coronet Highlands and the Alabaster Icelands, as soon as you get access to the Alabaster Icelands, even before doing the Pokemon ride that's required for that area, you can get it. Anyways, Vesa. How are we doing on these? We've collected 67 so far. There's exactly 40 left. There's going to be 20 on each of those two different maps that I mentioned before. This guide is going to be for anyone who either has gotten some of them, is missing a few of them, or special shout out to, hang on, what's their name? They tweeted me to at Faeus, F-A-E-Y-A-S, who quoted my last video saying, unless you literally waited for my video and they showed a picture of the first wisp in the coastlands, and anyway, MV all 20 of them. If you just want to screenshot this and figure it out on your own, go for it. I am going to recommend my method that I've been using. A quick summary is if you come over to this location and you see and you see it and you get it, great. You're going to mark it with a different icon. I'm going to use Pokeballs. Or if you come over here and you don't see it, make it something else, like an ore icon. And then when you only have two remaining, you're like, okay, well, where are the two? You know it's not the Pokeballs because you literally just got them. And the ore icons is probably one of them. Oh, I improperly labeled this. Night. And first of all, we're going to come up here and we're going to grab this one at the Heaven War to look. Out. This one is nice and out in the open. Very easy to find. From the camp, I'm gonna head the opposite direction to this small piece of next to the off the screen water path right here right next to oh it's not an out of map water path it's just a water dead end with a gold bat thanks gold bat from here we're going to need to head inside of the wayward cave i'm going to lighten this footage to make it much easier for you to see because i know that this can be a little difficult on some mobile devices you're going to want to make your way through following with the torches being on your left just like if you're strip mining in minecraft and once you come to the large empty room climbing up this path Pathway, and then continuing on you are going to be finding the alpha crowbat who likes to hang out over here but in the same room continuing onward you're going to be finding in this little nook the whisk just to let you know this is also accessible if you chose the water route does not really make a difference next up from the mountain camp we're going to Look 
going to be heading on top of the wayward. cave i mean you could have also just come out this door but i'm just going to do it that way and right in the middle of the split waterfall you are going to be finding this wisp right here the next wisp that we're going to be finding is going to be located technically right here on the map underneath the ancient quarry in the wayward woods uh i don't know the name of the structure but it's 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 the place that you walk through to get the uh, the bronzor and the bronzong. You may have been here for, you know, that earlier part of the story. But in any case, you're just going to come up here, climb up with Sneasler, and get yourself this whisk. Coming out of the north exit of that... small cave which is going to be right about here we're going to be finding this wisp literally right up here oh i need an alpha teddy ursa and this one is right out in the open that's a second alpha teddy ursa wow <laughs> from here we're gonna climb up just a, a little bit more to this large overreach i think this is the overreach which you can use to get magnezone no
Nope, I was wrong. The Magnezone one is up there. This one is a much lower one. From here. the middle of this small pond and the clamber claw in the clamber claw cliffs wow, that's a tongue twister you're gonna be finding this tiny little pond and right in the middle of the pond is this wisp very nice from here we're gonna be heading out to the seaboard area pro tip be careful with your strategic falling because uh, it can go awry quite easily. We're making our way out to over here, overlooking where Alpha Bronzong is located, you can get yourself this wisp. By the way, quick little pro tip, if you look down there, I already got him, but there's a Galaxy team member who gives you, uh, I don't know if it should be... recipe or a hidden recipe or a bonus recipe but he's down there if you want a guide on all the galaxy member locations let me know i mean i do feel like there are some people who are just 100 in this game just because you know you can next up from the moon view arena we're going to be heading on top of the moon view arena this is going to be visible from where you the frenzy noble electrode as well as any other pokemon you may have encountered in the moon view arena if you're playing in the post game boom right out in the open that was our 10th one from here we're gonna head just directly east to above the sacred plaza by the way if you're doing this keep your eye out on the moon because you know you are keeping it nighttime you might as well keep an eye out on the moon and if you do have a full moon you may already have picked up the quest for the clefairy's moonlit dance in which you need to go down to here at the Fabled Spring. There's gonna be literally an icon in the map. You have to inspect it. And then only if there's a full moon can you actually achieve that side quest. So keep an eye out. From here, we're gonna just hop on down a little bit over to the area between the plaza and the ruins. And
right here in the middle of this. This piece of ruins, there's a wisp. There you go. Also, be sure to get the treasure chest, especially if they're sparkling. It's also starting to look pretty light out. These haunters are probably going to despawn soon, and then it's going to be time to make it nighttime. The next one I'm going to be getting, because I went off to go sleep, going to be a little... located right here, which is right next to where the Alpha Rhydon is located. Sorry, Rhyperior. Ow. I don't know why, but anytime that they they uh, do their cry, I instinctively just jump up and then I get knocked out of the sky. There's going to be one more that should be visible and it is going to be kind of between the last two locations. Right there, straight ahead. Can't miss it. Definitely can miss it, but don't. Oh, don't miss it. And then you won't miss it. Pro tip, don't miss. With only a few more to go, we're going to be heading south to the Stone Tooth Rose. You're going to be finding this one right out in the open, right next to all the Mistrevious and Miss Magius. Oh! I would like that Alpha Mischievous. No, not you, Miss Magius. The little one it was right here. Where'd she go? Please, not right now. I don't know where the Alpha went. You, saw, you guys saw it, right? It was definitely here. Alpha is supposed to be aggressive and wanting to fled. Okay, seriously, where did it go? I have no idea where this thing went. Else, it's crazy. I mean, not, not that we just got. We're gonna be heading down over to this dead end. And 
This is right next to where the Alpha Golem is hanging out. I also happen to have an Alpha Haunter. Nice random spawn. One for me. From here, I'm gonna be heading directly. east on top of this ledge over to this area where the uh, Alpha Gyarados is hanging out. Helping out Norm with their satchel. And right next to the Alpha Gyarados, boom, got him. From here, we're going to head to the one that I improperly mislabeled and then I corrected at the very beginning. And this one is located just on top of the cliff, fairly easily to We only have two remaining down here at the Fabled Spring and next to the Fabled Spring. So let's head over to the Fabled Spring. As you're heading on the water, when you see this large bit right here, right before the small area where all the Clefairy are hanging out, we can just head up this big old mound, and we should be seeing it at the top. Fantastic. And the very last one is going to be located opposite of... We should be seeing it at the top. Fantastic. And the very last one is going to be located opposite of the short piece of river, past the Alpha Clefable, and I have an Alpha Badoo showing up. It's always funny seeing a, a big, small Pokemon. And it's going to be located right here. Nice. We've collected all the wisps in the area. Next up is the alabaster.